welcome to my channel Tork and Furious. Today I am going to explain you people about the new thing that has been added to the KTM family. The take it as RC390, 2007 RC390 family. Yeah, the ride by wire throttle. I am going to explain how it works and why it is not needed in the RC390 variant. So. Let me explain what is the ride by wire throttle. See, in uh, normal bikes you have a throttle th twister and a physical cable over here uh, which goes through this pipe and connects here to, to the throttle body. Here you can see you have a... Let me focus. This air intake pipe and uh, there you can uh, know the chassis is hiding it yeah the carburetor the chassis is hiding the carburetor you cannot see that and uh, that is the main mechanism of the throttle body uh, or, or that is the throttle uh, system which we get in our normal bikes but the new rc390 2017 model has got a wireless or a cable which the cable is not present at all it has a circuit inside this console it regulates let me focus it it regulates how much the throttle you are twisting and how much the throttle body should be opened inside the carburetor and what amount of air and fuel should be injected into the combustion chamber this ride by wire throttle system is mainly present in the high end or high cc bikes like 1000 cc or 600 cc like you can see in benelli 600 i think uh, the throttle right by throttle is not present in benelli 600 it's in the honda cbr 650 and uh, it's in the r1 yamaha r1 and many such high-end cc bikes so rc 390 is just rc 390 is just a 373.3 cc bike and it does i think it does not need a right by wire throttle because it's a waste I will explain you why. What happen, What uh, this throttle body, uh, I mean ride by wire throttle is completely waste without a TCS. TCS is nothing but traction control system. Yeah, you heard it right, traction control system. What it does is, when a rider is leaning the bike in a corner, like he is cornering, when you are addicted to cornering, you are leaning your bike uh, up to the when it's like your knee should touch the ground if you lean that much then the TCS will be very useful that is not present in the RC390 or any of the KTM like I don't know whether it is present in the RC8R or RC8 I don't know uh, properly but RC390 doesn't is uh, TCS is not there is or it's not present in the RC390 what TCS does is, when you are leaning in such your uh, such a point, like it's your leaning angle is very intense, very high, and your uh, wheel may lose the traction, even if it is the front wheel or the rear wheel. If it loses its traction, what TCS traction control system is? Traction means it's nothing but the point, like uh, contact between the wheel and the road. If the traction is lost, the TCS will regulate the ride by wire throttle system to maximize or like uh, increase or decrease the throttle to get its get the bike's control back. So when TCS is not present in RC390 or whichever KTM model like RC200, then why you need a ride by wire throttle? Yeah, that's a waste. So, I think I have explained you about the ride by wire throttle and this is my friend Pramod's bike. Uh, yeah, he has maintained it very well. The engine is still crispy and nice. Uh, and many people were uh, asking about the exhaust note of the RC200 and let me just show you.
you can see how good and mesmerizing this sound is unlike the duke uh, duke is not having such a melodious sound but the rc series like rc 200 and rc 390 they have very mesmerizing sound which is melodious like people just turn towards you when you are ripping the throttle in the cities the people just turn turn towards you to look with uh, to lo- look at you so guys i am ending this video so that's all for today if you have any doubts about the ride by wire throttle or the traction controlling system please ask your questions in the comment box below so i'll be answering them if you like the video please like and subscribe to my channel thank you ktm machine lovers